Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. This is the third time I've started this video, but I'm going to get it right this time. Okay, so I am back because I am making some little Santa bags. I just want them to be little bags to be able to put goodies in. And I think that this really would be a great craft fair idea. And so, um, yeah, this was the first one I did. And I'm going to have to go invest in more of this fabric because it's just absolutely darling. Um, but anyway, it would be great for craft fairs. It'd be great for people to use as stockings for their Christmas. Um, y'all, I know it's not Christmas time. It's almost fall, but I love Christmas and it's okay. So anyway, this is the first one I did. The casing that I did at the top, I think that I could have made it a little bit deeper. So that's what I'm going to do this time around. Okay. And, um, so let's just get going. So I've got two pieces of fabric for the outer and this is actually 10 across by 11 in height and two pieces 10 by 11 for the inner fabric okay what I did is I went ahead and I ironed the top down because you'll see whenever I go put them together um, that might make my life a little bit easier to have it already ironed down so let's get over to the sewing machine and start sewing this up this is gonna be pretty simple Okay, so we're going to start by sewing the outer fabric first. I'm going to sew a machine over just a little bit. And because I already ironed these top pieces down or the top down, I am just going to start sewing right there because it's already going to be turned down for me. It'll make it a little bit easier. Make sure my light's good over here, y'all. I'll turn you a little bit more. And let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to hold this down. Let's do a little bit of a back stitch. Now I'm getting close on that, on the uh, thread going out, so I'm hoping I can make it. But I'm trying to use everything on the bobbin. feature. I did a little back stitch right there just because I want it to stay. I don't want anything to come out. So I'm going to hold this bottom straight. Oops, let's get this down. I'm going to hold this bottom straight. Y'all, I was off this afternoon and I've spent a lot of my time. Well, y'all, as I was sewing, my bobbin ran out. So I had to stop. I'm back. Let's keep going now. Stop and fill up my bobbin. Over here. One more side on this one. I'm going to do a little back stitch over here too. You don't have to. It just kind of made me feel better to do that. I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up. So the other side up. We're going to do the same thing for the lining. stitched up this top area too. Now let's do the other one. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead while I've got this and I'm going to flip it inside out and then we'll sew the other one. Get my little finger in there. There we go. See how I folded that down already? Now, whenever I'm putting the other bag inside, the lining inside, I'm not going to have to fight with having to having to um, iron that down because it'll already be down where it needs to be. Okay, now I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do the lining. And I'm going to 
And lots of little strings over here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clip these together. Gonna go down and take food to my dad tomorrow. Maybe go see him. I won't be able to visit with him outside because I don't really want to jeopardize his health because it's going to be heat index of 108 tomorrow here in North Texas. So I will take and talk to him through the phone through the window tomorrow. Okay, let's go on this one. Gonna backstitch. And I'm gonna sew all the way down. My sewing machine has got so much lint. Oh my goodness. When I'm done with this, I need to dust my machine. I just saw that. Y'all, how if you sew, how often do you clean your sewing machine? Because y'all, I think it's been a little while. I've got some lint up there. I hadn't even seen that. That's a shame. Okay, now for this one, we don't have to turn it inside out because it's gonna go down inside of the bag. So I've got the Santa bag, and I'm gonna put this bag down inside. It's like this, it's gonna be our lining. This is a simple, simple, simple bag. Okay, match up your, match up your side seams. And I'm gonna work my way all the way around. I'm gonna get it, get these side seams, get them even. Don't wanna mess those up. That way everything looks straight. My husband was supposed to go meet up with some of his work buddies from his last job tonight. And he called me a while ago. I said, well, are you going? And he said, no. He said, I don't think so. He said, it's too hot. <laughs> My husband's such a homebody. I'm glad he's coming home, but I'm okay if he would have went. I mean, sometimes you got to get out. And even though they're going to be at a, at a workplace, it wouldn't be like out at a restaurant. So... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've got to sew all the way around, but I'm going to leave a little opening on one edge over here. Probably I'm going to leave the opening. Let me see which way I've got that. I'm going to leave the opening over here, I believe, because I want it to be close to the seam over here. So let's get going on that. I'm going to pull this off so I can sew better. Fit this bag up underneath. And I am going to sew up as, as close to the top as I can. Okay, let me get this one off. I'm gonna be able to trim these strings off when I'm done. one. Oh, 
sometimes it's easier to trim them. Okay, so I'm gonna sew all the way around the top, joining these together, leaving that little opening so we'll be able to put a drawstring. Because this fabric kind of ravels, I don't want anything sticking out the top. And I'm like an eighth of an inch. I'm very close to the edge because I don't want it to bunch out. that much it's leaving me about an inch and a half I'm gonna back stitch right here I want to make sure nothing comes out let's do it again and I really I don't think I back stitched over here so I'm gonna drag over and I'm gonna back stitch there too because the wear and tear is going to be right there in that opening that we're leaving okay so there's the top we're gonna have to sew one more time around our back. But see, now I've left this opening right here. Oops, let me trim this string right here. And I've got one on the outside. Okay, so now I've sewed all the way around the top. As you see, I'm gonna go down probably about an, about an inch, about an inch, and I'm gonna sew an, all the way around. And so I'll be able to thread some of my ribbon or whatever I choose to use as a drawstring right out through that hole and it's going to keep it in place. So let's start over here and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. Let me see if I've got my thumb right here. You can always like use your ruler and just draw yourself a little line. Let me see if I've got my, and you could, that way you kind of know where you need to be. So you can do that all the way around and just draw yourself a line. That gives me about an inch and I'll be able to use some of my thick rope, I believe, for this. If you want to go up a little bit, you can, um, or maybe down just a little bit more. I'm just going to try to go right up above that blue line. And let's just go. Just go slow. You want to make sure you try to go as straight as you can. If you go off a little bit, it's okay. Nothing's perfect. I am far from a straight sewer, believe me. I just try. That's all. Okay. Coming back around the front again. we are. We've met up back to the beginning. Going to backspace and our back stitch. When you work on computers all the time at work and you, then you come home and sew, you're forgetting that you're back stitching. You're not back spacing. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. Okay, so there we go. I have sewed, I've got some strings. I'll get those off in a minute. And if you see here, I've sewed right there. A seam right there all the way around. Um, as you see, here's the inside. 
Looks pretty good. Now let's get on over by the ironing board. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my iron right up inside the back. I just wanna press it down. See, sewing it like this, sewing it is so simple, y'all. And it's a simple bag. You could probably do your Santa bags. Let me think how much I, the price would be for craft fair. I think if you want to sell just the bags, um, maybe you want to do like $7. Um, if you want to put stuff in them, you could probably, like if you want to maybe make these for kids, like little Santa bags for kids. If you want to put like a crayon, maybe some crayons and a color book inside, that would be a nice treat. Okay, that looks really good. Now, I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to use some ribbon and I'm just going to use this. I have this Merry and Bright ribbon and I'm going to use it to thread it through. I'm just going to attach it to a safety pin. Let's see. Here's the opening right over here. And I think I'm just going to start and I'm just going to go all the way around. And just thread it on through. And I didn't cut the ribbon off the other end. I'm not going to do that until I get over here to this other side. Because I don't want to make sure. I want to make sure I have enough. I want to make sure I'm going to get it through. This is where the opening is there. See that side seam? And that's where I got it through. There we go. Perfect. And put you up just a little bit make sure you're not down too low sometimes I get to work and then I kind of forget to look look at what I'm videoing okay so I'm almost back around all the way and I'm going to come back up out of this hole where I started and there I am I'll pull my ribbon take off my pin how cute is this, y'all? Okay, I want to have my ribbons a little bit long. And look, that's the end of that one. That, and that turned out perfectly. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Perfect. I love that that was just enough ribbon for this project. Okay, so as you see here, here we go. With the ribbon. And so all you're going to do is you'll be able to draw it up and it will be like a little, it'll be a drawstring sack and you'll be able to put goodies in it. How cute is that? Make sure when you go over here, when you're done, make sure you um, open it up as far as you can and make sure you put some little knots over here. You want to make sure nothing, you want to make sure nothing, nothing comes out. So I'm just going to tie it, tie it up. And oh my goodness, that was perfect. I can't believe that. Okay, tying a good knot. That way then it won't, if it, you don't want it to go up inside. This is ribbon, so I will take my lighter and I'll burn these edges so they don't fray. You can use fray check if you want to. And so now once you've got it all tied off, and I'm thinking that I might find some thin rope on all the rest of them that I'm going to do instead of using ribbon. Um, something real skinny. But y'all, I was thinking, I have these bells. I got them like after Christmas on the grab bags last year. And I thought, how cute would it be to go ahead and just put a little bell right here at the bottom of the where you're tying it together. And just tie it on. Gives it a little something, something, since it's a Santa bag anyway. How cute is this, y'all? 
add some crayons inside, add a color book, add a little tag. Oh my goodness, the sky's the limit. These are so, look at them. Isn't he happy? It's so cute. Yeah, I just love this so much. This is definitely a huge contender for my craft fair. And the more I think about it, I'm thinking probably at least $9 for these because the time you put in the supplies and I think $9 let me know what you think about price. Um, anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I think I need to make a run back down to Hobby Lobby. I need to buy some more of this fabric because, you know, once they get fabric in, it don't last long. And I want to make sure I at least do maybe about 15 of these for the craft fair. 10, 15 of them. Um, yeah. They're darling. It's darling. I'm excited. I love how it turned out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Love you guys. Bye.